Hello guys. Sorry, I'm five minutes late. Please forgive me. How are you all? Fresh to home. I'm so sorry. I just came online. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I was just preparing everything. And I got late. Terribly sorry. <laughs> Ta da dang, ready? Ta da, ready? Nineteenth century American literature was a period of dash. Bolo. 19th century American literature was a period of dash. Enlightenment, Romanticism, Colonialism, Modernism. <laughs> oh, yesterday's I didn't share. Eh? Okay, I will share both today. In uh, Telegram group. Ta -da -dang. American 19th century is the period of dash. Are guys, answer. Tell me answer na. That is right. American romanticism. 19th century in American literature is the period of romanticism. Remember that. Will you? Which is the only work by Nathaniel Hawthorne? Return in the first person. I will give you a clue. Good evening. I will give you a clue. This is a novel where Miles Coverdale is the protagonist. Miles Coverdale is the protagonist. That is right. अरे 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 बहुत लोग ए बी सी ए एंड बी बोल रहे हैं नहीं तो इट इज द ब्लाइथ डेल रोमांस इट अटैक्स ट्रांसेंडेंटलिज्म ब्लाइथ डेल रोमांस अटैक्स ट्रांसेंडेंटलिज्म इट इज रिटर्न फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ माइल्स कवर डेल विल यू रिमेंबर माइल्स कवर डेल मैच द फॉलोइंग वर्क विद दस I can do one thing. I can put like this. Abhi bolo. Choose the correct answer. Match the following. Bolo. The life of a slave girl. Kisne liga? The life of a slave girl. Harriet Jacobs. The Oversoul. Ralph Waldo Emerson The Gilded Age Mark Twain Really Rohit welcome And Song of Myself Walt Whitman Ta da da Life of a Slave Girl Harriet Jacobs Over Soul Ralph Waldo Emerson Gilded Age Mark Twain Song of Myself Walt Whitman Okay then Listen Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl is a slave narrative by Harriet Jacobs Okay Lydia Maria Child edited it Remember Lydia Maria Child yesterday we talked about her she belonged to Knickerbocker school Remember Lydia Maria Child she belonged to Knickerbocker school Who among the following is not a transcendental writer Who among the following is not a transcendental writer It is Herman Melville Herman Melville Remember guys 
Emerson's thoughts is the central thing in um, transcendentalism. And it is Emerson's thought that gave rise to, what do you call it? American dream. Emerson's thought gave rise to transcendentalism. Right. And Margaret Fuller edited um, the Transcendentalist Journal Dial for two years. After that, Emerson himself edited the Dial. Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass came in 1855 with 12 poems. Will you remember all these guys? What is the real name of Mark Twain? You know that. Real name of Mark Twain is. Ah, self-reliance is by Emerson. Real name of Mark Twain is. Bolo. That is right. Samuel Langhorne Clemens. Samuel Langhorne Clemens. Remember guys, Mark Twain lived a life of seafaring. Mark Twain lived a life, uh, yes, lived a life of seafaring. And uh, Mark Twain, the name refers to the sailor's mark in the ocean. Sailor's mark. Okay, then Leaves of Grass is Whitman's great poem. Best defined by dash. Leaves of grass. In the poem, Whitman constantly positions America as an inclusive nation. You know, America is a country that accepts all people and treats them equally. Gate 10 p.m. class. Okay, I will do. I will do. Okay, I will do. 10 p.m. class. I will do. Great. Tell me, Leaves of Grass is defined as a truly American poem. Truly American poem. So, this is the little lady who made this big war. Who said this? So, this is the lady who made the big war. Who said this? It is Abraham Lincoln who said it about Harriet Beecher Stowe. Because American Civil, uh, civil War was about slavery. Harriet Beecher Stowe's... I will do, Saima. Harriet Beecher Stowe's uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin... Started the Great War. That is what Abraham Lincoln meant. So, this is the little lady that started the Great War. That is, uh, Abraham Lincoln said about Harriet Beecher Stowe. Next. In Passage to India, uh, Walt Whitman records the achievements of man. What achievements do, do, does Walt Whitman record? What uh, did Walt Whitman record in Passage to India? The ach what achievements of man, Bolo? In Passage to India, Walt Whitman records which achievements of man? Vivek, I am teaching in human hours like so many hours every day. <laughs> yes. Telephone cable lines across the Atlantic. Then the railroad. 
joining America. American coast, one coast to the other coast. Transatlantic Railroad, that is the meaning. The Transatlantic Railroad and also he celebrates the opening of the Suez Canal. The opening of the Suez Canal, all these are recorded. In Walt Whitman's Passage to India, there are great achievements. Wonderful guys, you said it right. You know, these are engineering marvels. According to Walt Whitman, these are engineering marvels. And um, he is showing that these engineering marvels are great achievements of humanity. Call Me Ishmael is one of the world's world literature's most famous opening lines. Which novel opens with this line? Which novel opens, opens with the line, Call me Ishmael? Yes, it is Moby Dick. Moby Dick opens with the line, Call me Ishmael. That is the only time Ishmael's name is mentioned there. That is the only time Ishmael's name is mentioned in the novel. Uh, he is the first person narrator in much of the book. What was the period of the American Civil War? Look at the period. Which of these is the period of American Civil War? Bolo guys. Which of this is the period of American Civil War? Yes, it is 1861 to 65. The period of American Civil War is 1861 to 65. You know that the American Civil War was fought between the United States of America and the Confederate States of America. The Confederate States of America are the um, 11 southern states. The 11 southern states. It was on the issue of slavery. The United States and the Confederate States. Did you get that guys? Will you remember guys? Abie Bolo identify the frontier writers. Who are the frontier writers? The writers who wrote about the encounter between the whites and the natives. The writers who wrote about the tissue tissue encounter between whites on the one side, natives on the other. Bolo, who are the frontier writers? It, you must know James Fenimore Cooper is definitely there. James Fenimore Cooper wrote the leather stalking tales. They are frontier works. The Leather Stalking Tales. Will you remember? Washington Irving and James Fenimore Cooper. Guys, shall we do great gate practice test tomorrow? What do you say? Shall we do gate practice test tomorrow? Now, what was the pseudonym of Harriet Jacobs? In her work, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl. Pseudonym of Harriet Jacobs. In Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl. Yes, we will do it tomorrow. Gate practice test. Ching ching. I am a pagal. Kapi kapi ho jata hai. अरे राज किशोर ये तो WB सेट के लिए है ना WB सेट का एक प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट में अनअकैडमी में भी कर रही हूँ अनअकैडमी प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट <laughs> बोलो व्हाट वाज़ द स्यूडोनिम ऑफ़ हैरियर जेकब्स इन इंसिडेंट्स इन द लाइफ ऑफ़ अ स्लेव गर्ल सम पीपल आर सेइंग इट राइट इट इज़ लिंडा ब्रेंड it is Linda Brent. Will you remember? 
Linda Brand. Who is known as the nun of Amherst? WP said me zarur aga ye question. Who is known as the nun of Amherst? Is it Anne Frank? Is it George Orwell? Is it Emily Dickinson? Is it? Are ye kya hai Bianca Sino? Mujhe me janti tak nahi. It is Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson. अरे विजय मैंने क्या बोला कुछ गलत बोला क्या सॉरी हुज नोन एज दी नन ऑफ एम हर्स इट इज एमिली डिकिनसन आई जस्ट लव इट वेन ऑल ऑफ यू सेंड करेक्ट आंसर्स लाइक दैट सो मच लिटिल पीसेस ऑफ जॉय कमिंग इट इज अमेजिंग नैटी बम्बो इज अ फेमस कैरेक्टर इन बोलो Natty Bumpo is a famous character in Nathaniel Bumpo is a fictional character created by James Fenimore Cooper in Leather Stocking Tales Pathfinder Pathfinder is part of Leather Stocking Tales ठीक है Leather Stocking Tales are frontier novels Five are there. It's a pentalogy. Pentalogy it is. Ye bolo. Oh yo. Stanley T. Williams is the biographer of. Kabhi suna hai Stanley T. Williams. Stanley T. Williams is the biographer of. Don't worry. Main batati hoon. Washington Irving. Stanley T. Williams is the biographer of Washington Irving. Will you remember? Now, the narrator in the Raven mourns the death of. The narrator in the Raven mourns the death of. PDF dungi na. Telegram group me dungi aaj. Kal kabi, aaj kabi. Ah, the raven mourns the death of Lenore. My dear babies, will you please like the video? Are how many people watch? How many people are watching? Such a small number, na? Seventy nine. Wow. Okay. Then, in which work does Poe describe the making of the raven? In which work does Poe describe the making of the raven? Bolo. Nobody but you likes my videos. Why only so few people? Forty-seven, nay seventy-nine. Dikara. Kisi ko mujhe lag raha aap answer bol rahe. Forty-seven, seventy-seven. Raven, did you like my recitation? I tried my best. Raven. Sabir, how can I forget you, Sabir? Never. Kabhi nahi bhoolungi. It is philosophy of composition. Raven, the writing of Raven was described in the philosophy of composition. Correct. Our Edgar Allan Poe also wrote... Edgar Allan Poe also wrote the poetic principle. The poetic principle. Which among the following is an elegy on the death of Abraham Lincoln? Bolo. Bolo. Which among the following is An elegy on the death of Abraham Lincoln. Many of you said it right. It is. Oh captain my captain. Oh captain my captain. That is right. Very good. Who wrote it? Oh captain my captain. Walt Whitman. 
It is a tribute to Abraham Lincoln. Which among the following works manifested transcendentalism? Bolo. Which of these works showed transcendentalism? Bolo. It is nature. Nature. Of course, by Emerson began transcendentalism. 1836. Nature is an essay. Do you know who published it? James Monroe and Company. James Monroe and Company. In this essay, Are, when nature is there, don't say Walden. Jab nature hai, nature started transcendentalism, guys. It is the manifesto of transcendentalism. Samaj rahe ho, very important. Which of the following pairs is incorrectly matched? Which of the following pairs is incorrectly matched? Batao. Scarlet letter Nathaniel Hawthorne sahi hai. Ha, mujhe pata hai Saber. We are preparing for it. Oversoul Ralph Waldo Emerson. Walden Henry David Thoreau. House of the Seven Gables. To Nathaniel Hawthorne hai. Edgar Allan Poe nahi hai. House of the Seven Gables. Edgar Allan Poe nahi hai. House of the Seven Gables a romance is a gothic novel written by Nathaniel Hawthorne. It is a New England gothic novel. Will you remember? Maul, M-A-U-L-E, Maul is cursing a family, the Pinchian family. Maul curses there. Maul is cursing the Pinchian family. Will you remember? Then, Identify the 20th century New England poet. Ready for that? Identify the 20th century New England poet who is known for works like Birches. Array, this is easy. Mending wall, the road not taken. Kaun hai bolo? Easy hai na? It is Robert Frost. Till now we were doing 19th century. Abhi hum kar rahe hain 20th century. Okay. Which 20th century American poet penned the following poem called Harlem? What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Or maybe it just sang, sags like a heavy load. Or does it explode? Kiss Nilika. It is Langston Hughes wrote. Harlem. What happens to a dream deferred? Remember guys. Lorraine Hansberry took the title A Raisin in the Sun from here. A raisin in the sun. Hello, Rahul. I'm fine. Oh, oh, Sabir. Your PG exam is also going on. Koi nahi. Fir aega. Set exam. Identify the 20th century American poet. Based on the following statements. Ready, guys? Okay, okay, entrance exam also me karungi na, me karungi karungi. D U B H U J N U. Hena? Karti ho. Ye bolo na. He was associated with the early 20th century literary movement. He was associated with the Early 20th century literary movement known as the fugitives. He is known for the portrayal of the South in his poems like Blue Girls, Bells for John, Whiteside's Daughter. He was also one of the proponents of new criticism. 
Hey, you know that. Fugitives and world's body. So John Crow ransom he hoga na. John Crow ransom. Will you remember these points about John Crow ransom? He wrote poems also. Did you know that? Yes. Which 20th century American poet exemplified the idea of imagism through his poem The Red Wheelbarrow? अरे मैं कितने एग्जाम्स के लिए पढ़ाऊंगी यूपी पी जी टी टी एन पी आर बी सब करूंगी सब करूंगी विच ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी अमेरिकन पोइट एक्सम्प्लीफाइड द आइडिया ऑफ इमेजिज्म थ्रू रेड व्हील बैरो बोलो इट इज ऑफ कोर्स विलियम कार्लोज विलियम्स William Carlos Williams. This 20th century New England poet won three Pulitzer prizes. Wow, for his collection of poems. And he wrote "The Man Who Died Twice" and "Tristram." पता है आपको किसने लिखा? It is Edwin Arlington Robinson. Edwin Arlington Robinson, will you remember, guys? Edwin Arlington Robinson. Which 20th century American playwright? Next question. Created the character Brutus Jones. That you know. Brutus Jones is a black American Pullman porter. He is a porter in Pullman trains. Bolo, which which book? It is of course Emperor Jones. Ishwar Saran, follow these videos na. You will pass net also. Emperor Jones is in Eugene O'Neill's Brutus Jones. Guys, I want to announce something. Are you ready for an announcement? I am going to give you New Year gift. I am going to give you a New Year gift every day at six course along with ten pm live. Every day at six course, will you attend? Which is for complete course. It is on everything, detailed lectures. Will you attend, everybody? Would you like that New Year gift? <laughs> Next question. Which among the following is not a work by Arthur Miller? Tada! -da the Crucible, After the Fall, The Glass Menagerie, Death of a Salesman. It is not like uh, questions like this. It is lectures, full lectures, short short lectures on every topic, and plus questions in ten pm. Lecture six pm. Questions ten pm. Ishwar Sharan, you will pass. Ye bolo na, Arthur Miller, Glass Menagerie did not write. Glass Menagerie is by Tennessee Williams. That is right, guys. Who is the protagonist of the play A Streetcar Named Desire? By Tennessee Williams. A Streetcar Named Desire. By Tennessee Williams. Blanche Du Bois. Blanche Du Bois. You say it is amazing and all, but people don't watch my videos. You people watch my videos. Will you please like my video, guys? Our video like Corona, guys. Then, who is the author of Who is Afraid of Virginia Woolf? It is an absurd play. Who is afraid of Virginia Woolf? Author, of course, it is Edward Albee. Edward Albee is the Absurd playwright, है ना? Then, Dash, one of the important figures who inspired an angry black nationalist theater in America was also known as Leroy Jones. Who is the author also called Leroy Jones? He started an angry black black nationalist theater. 
लेरॉय जोन्स इस अमीरी बराका लेरॉय जोन्स इस अमीरी बराका वुल्फ वुल्फ इस गोट्स नेम नहीं आकांक्षा गोट इस वुल्फ्स नेम who among the following is not part of the beat generation bolo allen ginsberg gary snyder f scott fitzgerald f scott fitzgerald <coughs> is lost generation f scott fitzgerald is lost generation others are beat generation Did you get that, guys? Who introduced the phrase "beat generation"? Bolo, bolo. Who introduced the phrase "beat generation"? It is Jack Kerouac. Jack Kerouac introduced the phrase "beat generation." <laughs> Which twentieth-century American novelist was also a part of the lost, lost generation? He popularized the notion of machismo. Ye bolo, machismo. A man can be destroyed but not defeated. It is Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway. Machismo, masculine. Ernest Hemingway. ठीक है. Next. Which twentieth-century American novelist wrote a novel about a novu rich man? Novu rich means newly rich. अरे जे गैट्स भी हमें पता है ना? जे गैट्स भी who pursued the American dream to regain his long-lost love. बोलो it is who wrote. F Scott Fitzgerald the great gatsby F Scott Fitzgerald's the great gatsby who coined the phrase the lost generation ye bolo who coined the phrase the lost generation you are all a lost generation somebody said it to hemingway You are all a lost generation. Who said Gertrude Stein? Gertrude Stein is correct. Very good. Ready for next question, guys? Did you like the video? Did you like the quiz? Which twentieth-century American poet is known for popularizing the use of typographical novelties in poetry? That you know, typographical novelty. who brought a lot of new changes in typography bolo bolo It is E. E. Cummings, guys. You are right. E. E. Cummings. Many of you said it right. Typographical novelty. E. E. Cummings. Take a next question. Even though Gertrude Stein introduced the phrase "the lost generation," which writer popularized it? Through the epigraph of his work, you are all a lost generation. that became the epigraph of the sun also rises yeah it is the sun also rises is the first novel by ernest hemingway the sun also rises is the first novel by ernest hemingway who among the following is not a part of confessional poetry of the late 1950s and 60s bolo who among the following is not a part of confessional poetry of the 1950s and 60s
बोलो इट सिल्विया प्लाटेस रॉबर्ट लावेलेस एंड सेक्सटेड इज लेनेट कॉहन इज नॉट लेनेट कॉहन इज कैनेडियन ही इज नॉट है ना ना Who is the protagonist of the novel for whom the bell tolls by Ernest Hemingway? W B Z people, you are going to get Ernest Hemingway questions, okay? Who is the protagonist of the novel for whom the bell tolls? Bolo, by Ernest Hemingway. It is Robert Jordan. He is an English professor who is fighting in the Spanish Civil War. Robert Jordan, an English professor. fighting in the spanish civil war okay which among the following is not a work by william carlos williams which among the following is not a work by william carlos williams bolo of course the old man and the sea abhi yaad rakhna william carlos williams wrote the doctor stories Patterson, the tempers. Will you remember? Identify. Oh, oh, oh! Identify the twentieth century American writer based on the following statements. He was an important part of the Beat Generation. He is known for his novels like On the Road and The Dharma Bums. He also did performance poetry. कौन है अरे इट इज जैक करवाक इट इज जैक करवाक जैक करवाक इट इज विच ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी मॉडर्न पोएट फेमसली सेट द फॉलोइंग लाइन्स to be nobody but yourself in a world that is doing its best night and day to make you everybody else means to fight the hardest battle which any human being can fight oh famous lines it is by e e cummings will you remember guys e e cummings Which among the following is the debut novel by Sinclair Lewis? Sinclair Lewis, पता है? Sinclair Lewis is the first American to get Nobel Prize. Debut novel by Sinclair Lewis. Our Mr. Wren. Our Mr. Wren. now identify the work next question identify the work by which for which william faulkner won the pulitzer prize identify the work for which william faulkner won the pulitzer prize in 1955 it is a fable a fable now among the following Identify the work by Catherine Ann Porter that does not use the technique of stream of consciousness. Identify the work by Catherine Ann Porter that does not use the technique of stream of consciousness. It is difficult now. Read extra. It is the days before. The days before. Read extra, will you guys? Which of Miller's characters, Arthur Miller, is described as portly, good-humored, and thoughtful? Just remember these characters. It is in a way view from the bridge. These characters, remember, will you? Identify the novel by Philip Roth, which is about a young Jewish boy growing up in a ghetto. I'm just telling you extra details. It is call it sleep. Philip Roth is the author of American Pastoral, isn't it? American Pastoral, which American poet argued that a poem has to be living. 
this is very famous it is prescribed a poem has to be living and therefore it must be in the simple language of ordinary things wallace stevens of modern poetry this is prescribed in universities this is prescribed in universities identify next question ready guys identify the 20th century american writer based on the following statements she is known for her short story collections like the curtain of green and other stories the golden apples have you heard she won the pulitzer prize for her novel the optimist daughter that you know who wrote the optimist daughter it is eudora welty eudora welty optimist daughter eudora welty then among the following identify the autobiography by eudora welty identify the autobiography it is one writer's beginnings one writer's beginnings match the author with the work based on the beat generation match the author with the work neil cassidy sorry guys one minute guys one minute are give me one minute will you it's so that you can read properly now you can read properly one minute guys abhi to theek hai na bolo now you can read properly neil cassidy gregory corso lawrence fellingetti gary snyder oh yo do you know guys do you know difficult hai i will tell you main hu na it's like this okay so listen neil cassidy wrote grace beats karma gregory corso wrote gasoline Lawrence Fellingetti wrote Pictures of the Gone World. Pictures of the Gone World. Then uh Gary Snyder wrote Turtle Island. Remember, okay? Theek hai. Which among the following plays? Which of these plays by Mark Connelly deals with biblical themes but is set in a black southern setting Mark Connelly green pastures just read extra next one is easy which of the following is not a work by Saul Bellow which of the following is not a work by Saul Bellow it is Humboldt's gift, her song, and dangling man are by Saul Bellow. The naked and the dead is not by Saul Bellow. The naked and the dead is by Norman Mailer. Identify the character in the play The Young Lions by Irving Shaw. Based on the comment by the author, I just want you to read and remember that these are there are such authors also. Irwin Shaw. I am just telling you this detail. This is the answer. Christian Destel. No problem. Which among the following is not part of the World War Two trilogy? This is very important. Which of the following is not part of the World War Two trilogy by James Jones? Of course, it is Naked and the Dead. Naked and the Dead is not part of any World War Two trilogy. 
naked and the dead is by not james jones but by Ma norman mailer that you know right okay next identify the author and the essay this is a very famous essay in post modernism this is a very famous essay in post modernism bolo which essay by an american writer it is the essay literature of exhaustion by john barth john barth wrote the literature of exhaustion and the literature of replenishment john barth wrote the literature of exhaustion and the literature of replenishment will you remember guys identify the novel by john barth in which he parodied greek and christian myths which is the novel by john barth where he parodied greek and christian myths it is giles goat boy read extra giles goat boy who among the following is not an american jewish writer bernard malamud grace paley isaac bashevis singer are jewish writers alan bloom is not alan bloom is not an american jewish writer Saul Bellow also American Jewish writer. Will you remember? Identify the chronological order of works by the lost generation. Will you please read all these about all these? Will you? The making of Americans, white buildings, the big money, all important. The grapes of wrath. who wrote the book the big money it is a very famous writer who wrote the book the big money it is p g wodaus don john dos passos P. G. Wodehouse has written. This is this is by John Dos Passos, the Big Money by John Dos Passos, Lost Generation writer. Who wrote the Making of Americans? Do you know? it is by gertrude stein making of americans is by gertrude stein will you remember guys making of americans is by gertrude stein big money is by uh, john dos passos white buildings is by hart crane grapes of wrath is by john steinbeck okay next Which among the following is not a part of the Rabbit series? Have you heard of Rabbit series of novels by John Updike? It is a sequence of tales about the quiet disintegration of a civilized marriage. Rabbit series Villages is not part of Rabbit series. Villages is not part of Rabbit series. Okay, guys. So that brings us to the end of this session. I will post both uh, in Telegram group. Okay, please study well. Please um, join me tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll do practice test gate. Okay, gate practice test. करेंगे हम. fine tomorrow and i will do up pg t t n p r b d u b h u everything uh, one by one we will do okay guys all right so bye bye good night this is the last question good night guys see you tomorrow 10 pm january 1st new year gift yaad rakhna 6 o'clock aa jana theek hai 
Okay, bye. Good night.